That brings us up to the next item on the agenda is an update on the recall efforts for the district attorney. Thank you, Mayor. Um, as we indicated, this will be a regular agenda item. Since the last meeting, we have received several letters of support from other communities. We had already received a letter of support from City of Monta Vista and Alamosa Chamber of Commerce. We have now added to that a letter of support from South Fork, Dale North, and Alamosa County. Um, the exciting news and the reason my head's still spinning is today is the first day we were able to print out the petitions and start selecting signatures. So we received the green light late yesterday afternoon, um, and we have been getting those petitions out fast and furious and collecting signatures. Um, and so we are anticipating this to, to go very well. We are trying to organize it as much as we can, knowing it, you know, some of it is out of our control once those petitions get out there. We are thankful with the partnership for the group with Recall Pain um, because they are really getting a lot of petitions out there in other communities, which we would probably have a little bit more of a struggle with. And so they have a lot of volunteers in the other communities in the Valley that are um, heading up these petitions as well as being physically there. We do have a lot of staff um, who have petitions. We are advertising that City Hall is a location for people to be able to come and sign those petitions. And um, I believe there's other places in Alamosa as well that are getting signed on. We will have all of that information on our website. And I do have mine here tonight if anybody wants to stick around and sign it. I got my badge on so I can do it. Um, the only other item, <laughs> the only other item I was going to share is we've received word that there is talk maybe from the district attorney of wanting to look at suing the city. We're not sure if this is hot air and we need to blow off steam or if it's something he's serious about. We wanna assure you that we have no concerns about any vulnerability there. Um, but also just it's, you know, once again, unfortunate, similar with the charges filed against Willett, when we have over a hundred cases still not touched sitting on the desk with victims, that there's time to focus on these types of activity instead of working for the victims. And so with that, I don't have anything else for an update unless there's any questions on the district attorney issue. Okay, Councilor Griego. I had a comment uh, on, on the letters of support. Are you just taking any letter? Anybody wants to support it? Yeah. Yes, we will. Um, we've I've been working with city and, and county administrators because I believe as elected officials representing a community, it's non-political that it can send a message that there's a concern by those. But obviously, if there's businesses or residents or anything like that, we'll take those as well and, and add those to the website. Um, we would just want to make sure there's nothing in there that that sets us up. Um, that, that, that there's information in there that's not accurate because we just need to be careful about that. And the reason I bring that up, I saw that there's a letter of support from the Alamosa County Republican Party. Now, isn't that political? It, well, I was made aware last night that they did vote um, to do that. They have not sent me that language. I, I read it somewhere uh, or an email that they were sending a letter of support. I believe I, I sent you an email saying that they had voted that way to, to issue a letter of support for the thing. I haven't received any of that language so yet. Are you going to accept that letter? Because we're talking about it being political. Now, if the, if, if the uh, Republican Party is going after a Democrat, which Mr. Payne is a Democrat, it, that turns the whole thing around and it becomes political. Well, I think it's incumbent upon us not to let it turn that way. I think if there are a group, a leadership group, just like if there's another Chamber of Commerce group that's a leadership group that has voted to do it, um, some may assume they're doing it because he's a Democrat, but maybe they're doing it because of the same reasons we're doing it. So I think it would be incumbent upon us not to read it into a political and just accept there's another leadership group that's coming out in support. Well, it is, it is political. So. Okay, any other comments? Okay, I, I would like to uh, commend staff for the work that you're doing on this recall paint effort and, and um, encourage all the people who wanna participate to participate. 
I, I do want to appreciate I do appreciate you all for making sure you put all of the information on our website that you've been putting on there because from the very get go, uh, we let the community know that we're going to be as transparent as possible. And by having that link on the website has all the information updated so people across the community uh, have an access to to see what we're doing step by step. Um, so thank you for that as well. Okay.